Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another YouTube video here on Hordes.io. This time we're back with the beginner guide to mages. Okay, so you want to play a mage, you just started, you've maybe uh, played another class, maybe archer or something, and you've heard, oh, mages do incredible damage, or something like that, or something along the lines, or you're just new to the game and you want to, um, you know, pick mage. And you played it for a little while, and you want to know what's rotations, what skills, what's my main stat. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Right, let's open the uh, the character window by pressing C. Let's move that up here. Right, so your main stat is intelligence. If you hover over it, it will say min max damage, uh, minimum damage, max damage, critical, and HP, right? So yes, that's right. By adding your additional stat, you will be getting crit, okay? Let that sink in for just a little while, right? But everybody says, oh, you only need intel, you only need intel. Remember, this is a beginner's guide. I'm gonna give you the basics of what you need and why, okay? So let's have a look at gear. What do I need on my gear, right? You want every part of your gear to have your main stat. Let's go ahead and look at my Mystic Wand. See, that has in uh, intelligence, right? You can go Intel, Stam, or even Crit, but you want intelligence on all your items, okay? That adds to this. It also adds intelligence, adds to your min-max damage, and of course, the more intel you have, the more crit you're gonna have, okay? So, without further ado, let's just quickly go over it. Everything I've got here, well, bar a couple of things, obviously that doesn't have it, uh, that's why it's not plussed, um, doesn't have intelligence on it, right? So let's talk rotations. Now, there are different rotations for different builds, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a glass cannon build, which is full intelligence, and your rotations. So, this is for PvE. This is not, and I wanna re you know, just to hash this out, other people can give that. Um, this is not a PvP guide, okay? This is for leveling, uh, learning the game, and learning your class. Right, let's go ahead and look at your skills. Right, Ice Bolt, right? Ice Bolt level two. The effect is a fiery missile uh, or frost towards your enemy reduces the cooldown of Icicle Orb, right? Icicle Orb, right? Yeah. Listen to that for just a moment. We'll get into rotations in just a second. Uh, by 0.5 seconds. Freezes targets for up to four stacks at which they will be stunned and take 50% increased damage, right? So when you're in a boss fight, it's single target, you know. Chilling Radiance. Now I've got this level four, I'll explain why in just a moment. Effect, emit a chilling shockwave of ice around you. Damaging and freezing enemies increase the critical hit chance of your next of some of your spells, right? Of, of hit chance of some of your spells, which, by the way, is pretty much 90% of the time. Teleport is self-explanatory. You instantly teleport in a direction where you point. Ice shield, right? Effect protects you against the next incoming attacks. The higher you go, the more attacks you can block. And level three, you can attack. Uh, you can block six attacks. Icicle, icicle or English is hard for me. Right? A ranged missile, right? Summon a large orb, e ejecting icicles, hitting all enemies in its path. Basically, an area of effect um, skill. Enchantment, right? You're gonna love this. Enchantment is amazing, right? It's got a five minute duration. Stacks refresh on duration, plus seven min damage, plus 11 max damage at level two. You wanna probably get that to level five. Let's just go over what I think Oh, we've got one more skill, of course. We've got a couple more skills. We'll go through these first. Hip Hypothermic Frenzy, or Hypo, right? Effect. You gain haste and all your damage output is increased. Resets the cooldown of Icicle Ball. Icicle Ball. Icicle Ball? Icicle Ball? Icicle or Buff on cast. 20% haste and 26% increased damage. So, again, when we go through the rotations, you're going to see the damage increase, all right? Arctic Aura, right, the effect, you and your party members gain additional crit. Everything, everything in the arsenal of a mage benefits it, okay? This is what makes mages so, so important. They've got buffs for party members, they've got self buffs, they've got crit, damage increase, and um, cooldown reduction, and attack speed buffs as well. This is exactly what you want, okay? So let's go ahead and do a quick test. I'm gonna target the middle dummy. Um, again, this is how I play it, not how you, sh you should play it. Like I said, like I say in all my videos, what works for me may not work for you, but this is how I play it, right? You can, um, so 
We're going to start with Icicle Orb, which is your my number five. I'm going to hit that. Bosh, I'm going to hit Hypo. Then I'm going to go straight into it again. Watch the damage increase. Boom. Well, I didn't really... But you can blink. You can freeze. This is going to crit, right? So it's going to crit on your next attack. So we're going to... Just keep hitting um, ice, uh, ice Bolt until um, Icicle Orb, which is our uh, number five. That's off cooldown again. Now, this is without buffs. We'll do it again in the rotation that I do with buffs in just a second, okay? And there's the threes. All right, let's back off a minute. Pop a mana potions. Wait for cooldowns. Right, now we've got the cooldowns. We're going to do it again. So, what do we do? Here's how you can play a PvE uh, Mage rotation, right? So, you can blink three freeze please there we go freeze come into icicle icicle orb i don't know why i'm calling it icicle ball hit that into icicle orb again frenzy let's keep pushing this we're going to keep hitting ice orb uh, ice bolt sorry i'm mixing up the names just to get the reduction on cooldown on icicle orb, if you see the cooldown there and straight in onto your number five again and so forth and so on now oh i'm dragging my thing about now we're going to show you it the difference with your two buffs okay right we're gonna show you with the buffs so I'm gonna click on myself so it highlights myself seven which is my enchantment level two I'm also gonna put Arctic or Arctic, Arctic or aura I'm struggling with words I'm, I'll tell you I'm terrible let's just quickly go over what this does me critical percent increase by 1.5 and of course min max damage increase let's target again we'll go through the rotation orb Hypo, orb, blink, threes, into bolt. All right, or you can vice versa. We can do another rotation as soon as we come off the cooldown. Look at how quickly that comes off into five. I always pop by shield. I don't know why, but like because I'm in PVE. And again, I'm only level. What am I? Level thirty-four. I'm only. I'm not even into. I'm not even into um, Favel yet. All right, and I'm hitting the same damage that a level forty-five archer can do. Problem with this is, this ice shield only has uh, six blocks, and it has a one minute cooldown, so you can be targeted, you're going to be very squishy, uh, so you've got to be very careful. Now in PvP, it's completely different, people will tell you different builds, and so forth, but like I said, this is a PvE build that I've uh, played, I'm a glass cannon intelligence, uh, min max damage critical um, mage, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and wait for the, the cooldown once again, and I'll show you the opposite rotation that you can use in PvE. Right, so the other way you can do this is the following, right? And this is what's recommended. So you go, you start off, target the dummy, blink, freeze, out, orb, hypo, orb, into bolt. And as you can see, look, lots of damage. Lots and lots of damage, and we've still got the buff in. Now, again, we're just going into orb until, uh, sorry, uh, bolt until orb is off cooldown. Do such again, and vice versa. Then you can blink in, freeze again, and uh, vice versa. You can get free rotations off before your cooldowns on hypo are off, right? And by um, the way out of it is like you're going to put your shield up, and you're going to keep doing this again into orb. And these are what you're, you would be doing in PvE, like if you're solo farming or if you're in a group or so forth. Blink, freeze, jump out, straight back into bolt. And as soon as you hit bolt again, now again, look, so it's just been a couple of seconds, go into uh, orb again, hypo, orb, straight into bolt. We probably get one more, uh, I think we can get one more off or do we go back into blink? Go back into blink, back into freeze, back out. And remember, look at the mana that you're using. You want to be popping that. Let's get into the bolt. We're going to go straight into orb again. And if you look in the DPS meter, you're doing some incredible damage for such a low level, right? So remember, you are an AoE crit build, okay? So it's lovely. Lots and lots and lots of damage. This is why the mage is so fun to play, in my opinion. There is so much. Like, you've got area of effect damage with your uh, chilling radiance. I've got, I'm going to get that to level 5 for PvE, just for leveling, and then I'll take it down to, like, say, probably level 4 to give me a free up um, uh, skill point so that I can use it in something else. And there we go. Look, you're hitting for 704. Blink, freeze. But remember, you, you, you want to try and time your... Um, your orbs after you've frozen. The reason for that is because remember, 
Let's read it. Empower our crit of ice bolt by 2.5%. Empowering crit of icicle lord. Like you want to be getting the crit, and the higher you've got on crit, the higher percentage you're going to do on damage. And look, there we go. Look on the right hand side. We're going to do that. We're going to blink. We're going to freeze. Come back. Go straight into bolt. Let's just keep. You can hear me spamming on my keys. I'm terrible at that. And then straight into uh, my orb. Now I did the rotation there a little bit wrong because obviously you want to go. Um, chilling Radiance, then into Warb, but you get the gist. Right, guys, that has been the rotation, and that has been what skills you need. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about skills for just a moment. What do you get to level 5? You get Icicle Orb to 5, you get Friend, I'm going to get Hypo, this is me, just by the way, this is what I'm recommending. Right, Enchantment is just incredible. Enchantment to level 4, Icicle Orb to level 5, Hyper Frenzy to level 4, Chilling Radiance to 4, Ice Bolt to 3 or 4 if you can. Everything else I wouldn't bother. Maybe increasing Arctic Ore if you want the additional crit, but if you're going a crit build anyway, like I'm at 24.7% anyway, and that's just off the small little baby items I've got. Some of these are like really low level, some are like 32. But yeah, so my boots are 1.5% crit and intelligence. You know, so it, it all depends on what sort of build you want to build. This has been the basics of a mage. I'm now going to show you some uh, footage of PvE, uh, me killing monsters and see some sort of damage that you may be like. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, fave, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how you play your mage and how you would build your mage so everybody can learn together. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.